familiar tale out of the University of Tennessee today, grappling with the impact of COVID-19 on health and on the bottom line. People and organizations yeah. all over the globe are dealing with this. They're facing losses and extra expenses. And for UT, there are millions of dollars at stake, jobs, education, and the safety of tens of thousands of people. Our top story here at 5 o'clock, WAT6 on your side, reporter Madison Keevy listened in as UT leaders talked about what they're facing and the way forward. Yeah, Bo, this has been a school year unlike any other. Chancellors from all UT campuses presented to the Board of Trustees today that they believe everything they've been working on is working and they're doing it right. But the financial impacts, well, those could be more long lasting. Obviously, COVID has caused a financial impact. The pandemic has cost the UT system $147 million from less money coming in, but also COVID-19 related expenses like classroom upgrades and PPE. Transmission in the classroom of the disease has not happened here, zero. The Board of Trustees met virtually over the last two days to talk about all of it and some of the upsides. For example, enrollment is up across the system and that's good news for finances. If we're going to keep these students here who've come and are having a strange experience, given what they thought college would be like, we're going to have to hang on to them. System President Randy Boyd said there is a plan to offset the nearly $150 million in losses. Federal and state grants will bring in $21 million, reduced spending another $54 million, and a reduction in budgeted savings $10 million. Do the math and those numbers won't add up to over $100 million. Boyd explained why. And so the net uh, loss for the system, uh, excluding UT athletics, was only $9 million. Uh, and we have the reserves to be able to cover for that. UT Knoxville football alone lost $40 million from the pandemic and another $13 million gone without large events on campus. Now, of course, making it clear the athletics budget is separate from anything that's related to education. Now, tuition didn't increase this year, but because of higher enrollment, there was more money in tuition coming in. By the way, the board notes that those projections don't include the money that could come from UT basketball next year. Bo. All right, Madison, thank you. And while leaders face the finances, they're also facing the case numbers, trying to clamp down on the virus, which rocketed around campus, then dropped off. But it still hasn't left. It's still there. We want to take a look at the latest numbers. There are currently 57 active cases, 52 are students, five are employees, 308 people are in self-isolation. Assistant Provost Amber Williams joined Provost John Zomchik in this week's Chancellor's Office Address. Williams told Vol Nation that every change that has come to campus this year due to the pandemic is made in the best de decision of the students at UT and the university is there to support them. We have 30,000 students in our campus, 30,000 students, undergraduate and graduate students. And each one of those students has a story and each one of those stories matters on this campus. And so as you navigate uh, the opportunities and the challenges that will arise as a student, as a volunteer of this campus, know that we are here with you. We do, we're gonna challenge you, we're gonna push you, we're gonna encourage you to be your very, very best. But at the same time, we're going to walk with you because your story matters here. Williams also talked about several new programs to help students with tutoring and other academic resources over the next semester. And we have a link to today's briefing on our website for you at WATE.com.